Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Show now unto Yahweh Israel. Hallelujah. For all that he has done. We must remember Yisrael. It must be in the heart, and it shouldn't be a hard thing for us to give Toda unto Yah. In everything and for everything. As we go about our day to day endeavors, when we work, as we labor, everything we touch, everything we do, Yisrael, it should be unto Yahweh. Having the Torah always and continually in our hearts, in our minds, Yisrael. Because that is the only way that we are going to find comfort. We're going to find the reassurance of Almighty Yahweh, and that is his, in his Torah. Not just hearing, but we must also act upon it. We must do. We must achieve. We must press to obey the instruction of Almighty Yahweh. That's the only way we're going to find shalom in this last hour. That's the only way we're going to find the comforting of Almighty Yahweh. Not that he speak the smooth and sweet things that we desire to hear, Yisrael, but the smooth and the sweet things that he speak out of his Torah. It should always be a pleasant thing for Yisrael. No matter how it comes, reproof, rebuke, instruction. It should be sweet unto the left that desires to obey the 12 Almighty Yahweh. That is willing to do whatever Yahweh says, whatever it takes that it may please his left, that it may please his heart, Yisrael. That when we bring our praises, that is with our mouth, with our voices unto him. Even our action and our deeds when we come into us by it. That it will be a sweet smelling savor unto him. And that we found comfort above all things, Israel. It's not going to be in houses and land. It's not going to be in monies. Vehicles. Any, as we would call, creature comforts. The things that we find to appease the flesh, Israel. It's going to be by his Torah and by his Torah only. Because when all these things pass away, and they pass away, some of the best built vehicles in the 60s and the 70s, unless they are taken care of very delicately, and even at that, they fade away. The leather gets old. The leather gets hard and it cracks. No matter what you do to the engine. It don't seem to run as it used to, Yisrael. But yet the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, if we would place that in our left, if we would keep it, it is always afresh. It is always anew. No matter how old it is in Torah, it has been written by the scribes, by, by those that have written the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. It is a living word. And it is a living word. It's alive for us today, Yisrael. Hallelujah. I do want to somewhat... Stay in this chapter tonight, Israel, of Isaiah, chapter 40. How do we comfort one another? Do we speak flattering to our neighbor, to our, to our hope? It is, it, if it, is it in foolishness or frivolity? We try to get a laugh out. Is that what comforts our heart? Does that give us reassurance? How does Yahweh comfort in this hour? In the midst of trials and tribulation, how should we find the reassurance that we should have, Yisrael, to endure and to press on? It says here in Isaiah chapter 40, Comfort ye, comfort you, ye my people, saith Almighty Yahweh. Saith Almighty Yahweh. It's instructive Almighty Yahweh. To comfort, to reassure, to uphold, to uplift. Speak you comfortably to Jerusalem. 
How does one speak comfortably? Is it by just soothing words? When we see one that is in the, the trial of life or temptation, yeah. we see their head down. Is it just the sweet and the syrupy words that we speak to them? Yeah. But it's also in one instructing one and demanding one to stand up and to be strong. To stand upon the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. You know, we see it all the time in the sports arena when a player is not playing at his peak and the coach knows that the player can do more. He don't walk up to him and whisper sweet things in his ear when he pulls him to the side. He really socks it to him. And many times the words are not pleasant words. Get your butt in gear. This is not you tonight. You play better than this. You must forget everything that happens outside of this stadium. Yes. And you must focus on the game that's in, at hand, Yisrael. We must do the same thing as a people, Yisrael. Yes. Our focus and our attention must be on the things of Yahweh alone. Yes. In the Torah. Right. What thus saith Almighty Yahweh. Right. How will the Ruach HaKodesh lead me on this day? That's how it should come, Israel. That's what we should do. It says to speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her. Cry. Shout aloud. Lift up your voice. That she may reckon, that she may hear, that it may shake her out of her sleep, Israel. He says to cry unto her. That her warfare is accomplished and her iniquity it is pardoned the battle Israel has already been fought the warfare has already been won we have the Teshua we have victory Israel and Yahshua Hamashiach We should be at the point, Israel, where we no longer have to wrestle, fight, and contend after the will of the flesh. The flesh should be impelled daily, Israel. It must be impelled. It must die. Because if it does not, we'll find ourselves imagining every wicked thing there is upon our lust. Wishing I want that. I wish I had that. Finding ourselves wanting against Almighty Yahweh. Find ourselves covetous. These are the things that the flesh desire after Yisrael. So we must establish one thing day by day when we get up out of our beds. And that we're going to walk in the light and the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Walk in the light of Yahshua HaMashiach. That should be the first thing Yisrael that comes out of our mouth and our thoughts as we awaken. Yahweh. What is your will for me today? And we know that his will is for us to walk in his Torah. To walk according to his statutes. And the things that he commands us to do. He said that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of almighty Yahweh's hand. Received of his hand. It all comes from Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael. Riches, wealth, his judgment, his indignation, the trial of life. It all comes of the hand of Almighty Yahweh. For she hath received of Yahweh's hand double for all of her sins. She has received double. She has received the judgment. But even in that, the judgment of Almighty Yahweh, if he would consume us in his anger, in his anger, Yisrael, there would nothing be left of the house. There would be nothing left of a people, of a nation, to walk under the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Because if he would judge us justly, then we all should die. 
So he says here, he judged us just double for our iniquities and our sins. He have not consumed us. He have not made an end of Yisra'ya. Are not we here tonight, Yisra'ya? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Have not Yahweh given you breath tonight? Yeah. That we may lift up our voices before him. Hallelujah. There should be rejoicing in the house tonight, Israel. Why? Because Yahweh has comforted us in his judgment. He has given us his mercy, his hasid, even in his judgment, Israel. Hallelujah. And in that we should find the comfort of Almighty Yahweh. It's not the sweet things we hear so many times on the radio by, if I may say, the, the sugar-coated and the lollipop preachers. But it's in the judgment of Almighty Yahweh that we realize who we are and what we are and what he has brought us from. And even in the midst of his anger as he has judged us, Yisrael, just for a moment, yet we should find the comfort in Almighty Yahweh. That he ahavas us. That he loves us, Yisrael. Because if he did not, Yisrael, he would not correct us. He would not judge us. He would not look upon us day to day, minute to minute, second by second. His mind is upon the house of Yisrael. It says, for she had received double from the hand of Yahweh for her sin, for her iniquities. It says, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Do we hear that voice that crieth in the wilderness, Yisrael? Do we hear the sound of it, Yisrael, as it cries, as it warns, as it pleads with us, Yisrael? It says, there's a voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. What is the wilderness? What is it, Yisrael? It's more than what we see around us, the world, what's going on. But it's also a wilderness in the mind of a man. When... It is not circumspect, and it does not line up with Torah. It's a wilderness place. It's an open place. The mind is open for anything. It's a vast place. Yisrael. So our minds must be upon the Torah of all times, at all times. He that crieth in the wilderness, prepare you the way of Almighty Yahweh. Make straight in the desert. What do we find in the desert? Think about it. There's not lushness and much greenery in the desert. No water. It is a wasted place. It's almost there. There's no use for it because nothing really can grow there. There's certain things that have adapted that Yahweh has placed in the desert. But you don't want to find yourself in a desert land without water. Above all things, you must have water. The the, 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 the desert is... The atmosphere and the temperatures there, 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 it sucks the water from your body. All the moisture from your body is right, yeah. And if we don't have the living water of Yahshua HaMashiach in these vessels, if we do not flow out of our bellies, just right, yeah, as, as it should, then while we're in this wasteland, this desert land, we would dry it up. We would dry up, just right, yeah. We would have no life. We will not have the high of Almighty Yahweh. It says, make straight in the desert a highway for Abba. How many of us are doing that, Israel? Are we making our way straight? Don't you know that Yahshua HaMashiach has laid a path, has laid a highway before us, Yisra'a, yeah, for us to walk in? That is his Torah and his Mitzvah. But yet, the path that we take it is crooked. It isn't straight, Yisrael. So we must make our path straight. How do we do that? How do we make our path straight? It is obeying the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Walking in all of his truth and all of his ways. Not lying to your neighbor. Speaking truth one to another. Having a hava amongst the house of Yisrael. Doing tub unto all men. But especially those 
of the household of Amunai Yisrael. He said, make straight in the desert a highway for our Abba. It said that every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked path shall be made straight. And the rough places plain is Rayah. Many of us have rough edges. We do not have the straight and the narrow way in our minds, Israel. Yeah. We're up, we're down. Yeah. We're happy, we're sad. Yeah. We have a moon then we do not have a moon yeah. An unbalanced love is an abomination to Almighty Yahweh. For us to have two minds, the mind of the world, yeah. and try to say that we're walking in the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach, is an abomination unto Almighty Yahweh. There's only one way. There's only one straight path that we should walk in, Yisrael. Not our own way, not our own path, because we know, we see what it has led us to a dead end with no way out. But Yahshua HaMashiach. I'm glad he looked upon me, Yisrael, when I ran to the end of my road. I tried, tried it on my own path, and they have not been straight. They were not narrow. The path that I was taking was not leading me to the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh. It was leading me unto sin and to death, Yisrael. That's what our paths take us. So he said, you make the hills and the mountains. He levels them. He makes them low. And shall make the crooked path straight and the rough places plain. And it says that the honor of Almighty Yahweh shall be revealed in all flesh. Does it say all flesh, Israel? Yeah. Just some flesh? It says all flesh. Yeah. And all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of Yahweh, he has spoken it. Yeah. Whatever Yahweh has spoken, it has come to pass, Israel. Yeah. The old lamb, the earth, he spoke it in the beginning, and it came to pass. Yeah. The light. He spoke it. He said, let there be light. And there was light, Israel. Yeah. So any and everything that Yahweh speaks, it comes to pass. And it is. Yes, it is. So he speaks this unto us, Israel. Yeah. That the honor of Yahweh should be revealed in all flesh. Shall see it together for the mouth of Yahweh he has spoken. That sets a seal on it alone, Israel. Yeah. Verse 6, it says that this voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is as grass. And the tub thereof is as the flower of the field. It is not true, Yisrael. This speaking of Yachahanan in his last and evil days, all flesh is as grass. There's nothing that shall be lifted up above the honor and the splendor of Almighty Yahweh. There's nothing that we can lift up above his Torah, Yisrael. His Torah is all that we have. His Torah is all that we need, Yisrael. But yet we don't hear the voice that is crying. We don't hear the voice of Yahshua HaMashiach that is crying for us to make ready. To prepare our way for Almighty Yahweh. To prepare for the coming of of his Torah, Yahshua HaMashiach. What is the comforting Israel? What do we see when we come into the bite of Almighty Yahweh? I know what I seek. I seek for Yahweh to reprove and to instruct and to correct me. That I may continuously day by day make this crooked path, these steps that I take, may be ordered aright by the Ruach HaKodesh of Almighty Yahweh. It says that the grass rithereth in verse 7, and the flower faded because the ruach of Almighty Yahweh bloweth upon it. Surely the people is as grass. We are as grass, Israel. We only have life because the ruach of Almighty Yahweh blows upon us. And if his breath, if his ruach doesn't blow upon us, Israel, then we wither up. We die. We dry up. 
If it wasn't for his breath, even in this wilderness land, amongst the world, Israel, we would be dried up. We would be consumed. We would be not as a people. There will, there will not be a, a Yisrael. There will not be a people unto Yahweh. But because he has preserved us and he has kept us, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. His right hand is always held strong, Yisrael, yeah. for us. And for Yahshua HaMashiach to come at our defense at any time, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, because the rock of Yahweh bloweth upon it, surely the people is grass, and the grass withereth, and the flower fadeth. But the Torah, the word of Almighty Yahweh, of Abba, shall stand forevermore. That is our comfort, Yisrael. Yah. The Torah of Almighty Yahweh. We must stand upon it because it is our sure foundation. Any other foundation will crumble. Our flesh crumbles. The folly of man, it crumbles. We look at what we call the United States of America. It's crumbled. They talk of the economy somewhat picking up speed. It's all a false thing, Israel. What we should be worrying, worrying about is our speed. How are we progressing? In the life of Almighty Yahweh. How are we walking in this journey to the kingdom? That should be what our minds should be on, Yisrael. Yah. The word of Yahweh of Abba, it stands forever. O Zion, that bring us tough tidings. He says to get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem. That brightest, that bringest tough things. Lift up your voice with strength. Hallelujah. We must lift up our voice with strength, Israel. We should not be low or our countenance cast down, Israel. We should lift up our voices with strength. No matter what we endure, no matter what we encounter, Israel. If we stand upon the precious promises of Almighty Yahweh, then you will see and you will find the people that lift their voices continuously unto Almighty Yahweh. They give praises unto Almighty Yahweh. That extols his name at all times, Israel. He said, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up and be not afraid. Are we afraid, Israel? We find ourselves running. As coward soldiers, that's one thing about a warrior. He doesn't run away. He doesn't cow down. Whatever means that he has to face up to, whether it means it taking his very life, he goes for it, Israel. He's not afraid. Why? Because the cause of his life is much greater. He understands it's not by what he desires. But it's the one that sent him forth to battle. And he is out there to accomplish that which he has been sent forth to do, Yisrael. Did not Yahshua HaMashiach complete the task that was set before him, Yisrael? Even unto the, the stake and suffering the shame, being innocent of everything, every lie that was spoken to him, yet he endured, Yisrael. And he overcome. And through him overcoming Israel, we can overcome. And we have overcome. And we abide and continue to abide in him, Israel. He said, be lifted up. Don't be afraid. Say unto the cities of Yahuda, behold, your abide. Do we speak that unto each other, Israel? Behold, Almighty Yahweh, lift up your faces, lift up your voices, and behold, Almighty Yah. Behold, Yahshua HaMashiach, for he comes quickly, Israel. Hallelujah. 
We cannot allow our faces to be cast down to the earth, Israel. We must look up. We must look towards the hill, the high places from which our help cometh. And our help cometh from Almighty Yahweh. Behold, Almighty Yah, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Lift up your face unto the Shemayim. Why? Because his eyes are cast down unto his people, unto the Siddiq, the righteous Yisrael. He is mindful of us all the time. Even when we seem like we're all alone, we're not alone, Yisrael. Hallelujah. It says in verse 10, Behold, observe, look, for Yahweh will come with a strong hand. Did I not mention the strong hand of Almighty Yahweh? His arm and his hand is not weak, Israel, that he cannot say. Neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear the cry of Israel. Hallelujah. He said that his hand is strong and his arm shall rule for him. What is his arm? What is his strength, Yisraya? It is his Torah. It is his Mitzvah. It's his Daba, his word. It says also, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward, it is with him. And his work, it is before him. But you know, he has his reward with him, Israel. All we have to do is continue to walk according to the Torah. Let us, let us not fall prey unto the weak and beggarly elements of the flesh, Israel. You know, it's the small things we have to look out for. Our thoughts. Sometimes if you don't Guard your mind, as Dawi said, I have kept me by the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. We will not be kept in this last hour. We'll be swept away just like the world is swept away. I see it every day as I go out, Yisrael. A world that is just set on pleasing themselves. That's all it's set, pleasing the flesh. They will go in debt to please the flesh. This pagan holiday that is coming up this Christmas, people will fight, they will kill each other over trinkets. Yisrael. Hallelujah. What are we fighting for? What is our hope? What is our aspiration, Yisrael? It should be the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. It should, it, should, it should be to walk according to what he speaks and what he commands us, Yisrael. The straight and narrow way. It also says in verse 11 that he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, Israel. He takes care of us. He keeps us. He will not allow us to fall into a ditch and leave us there. But just as a tough shepherd would do, he will rescue the lamb or the sheep from out of the ditch. He has pulled us out from iniquity, Israel. He has pulled us out of the pit of shame. We cannot get ourselves out. Our limbs were broken. We were dying in our own blood, Israel. The Torah talks about Israel drowning in their own blood. The neighbor car not even being cut. Hallelujah. But Yahweh looked down. And he picked you up out of a horrible pit. He said, I have nothing else to give you but the reassurance of my Torah and my word that it stands. That I shall deliver and I have delivered. Hallelujah. Is that not comforting, Israel? Even when, like, when it seems like there's no way that the doors do not open for us. We know that Yahshua HaMashiach, he is our door. He is the way, Yisrael. Unto life everlasting. 
There's nothing else that should deliver us. There's nothing else that would give us comfort, Yisrael. But the Torah, the Debar of Yahweh, and his word alone. There's nothing else, Yisrael, that shall give us comfort but his mishvah. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, and he shall gather the lambs with his arm. But you know, Yahweh has gathered us tonight, Yisrael, in his arm. We are protected in his arms. He has gathered us. He has drawn us close to his bosom, Yisrael. He's not going to allow the world to, to consume us. It also says, and he carries them in his bosom. I want to be in the bosom of Almighty Yahweh. I don't want to be in the bosom of a strange woman. I don't want to be in the bosom of this world, Yisrael, seeking the comforts of this life. Yes, yes, yes. I want to be in the bosom and near to the love of Almighty Yahweh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, comfort Yisrael by your Torah, Almighty Yahweh. He said he gathers them as the lambs with his arm and he carries them in his bosom. And shall gently lead those that are with young. Even our babe and our children, Israel, we don't have to worry. Because it is Yahweh that leads us. Gently. Even with our young, the youth, the babe, the children, Israel. Verse 12. Who have measured the waters... Of the hollow of his hands. Come on, Israel. Yes, yes. And melted out the Shemayim with the span. Can we measure Israel, the breadth of his hand? No. Can we imagine even the vastness of the Shemayim, Israel? And comprehendeth the dust of the earth in a measure. Who can do that? All the science of man and their wisdom that they perceive that they have, they cannot even tell you the essence of the dirt, Yisrael. Oh, they have what they call their laws of molecules and all that mess, Yisrael. But only y'all can tell you that. Only Yah can explain that. Only Yahweh can give you the knowledge to comprehend that. And that stuff that we walk on, we trample it day by day. We wipe it off of the bookshelves. We try to get it out of our homes, do we not? Wash it out of our clothes. Yet, that's what we have been made from. Yahweh has created us out of such a dirty particle or thing, Israel. He has made us. So next time you try to clean out a stain, Sweep your home and your house. Mm -hmm. Just remember that the dust is where we came from. And to the dust shall this body return, Yisrael. So we have all things. We don't even think like that, do we, Yisrael? Yet Yahweh has set us even above the Melachim, Yisrael. He has set his crown. He has placed his name upon our foreheads. Hallelujah. So who, who even can measure out? Or comprehend the dust of the old land. And weigh the mountains in a scale. Can we weigh the mountains? No mathematical formula can give us the calculation of what a mountain weighs. But Yahweh knows what it weighs. Yahweh knows the essence of the hills, Yisrael. Even everything that we approach in our lives, Israel, it seems like mountains. It seems like there are breaches that we cannot cross over. Yahweh, he knows. He knows what it takes to get across that breach. And to scale that mountain, Israel. So what need do we have to worry? Why should we fret? Why should we be cast down, Israel? Knowing that in our body has made all these things. 
He leads and he guides us day by day as the sheep herd Israel. And he will gather us closer to his bosom and to his arms. It said also the hills in a balance. Who can do that? No man can do that. Only almighty Yahweh can. Who have directed the Ruach, the spirit of Yahweh. Who have instructed almighty Yahweh? What man was there that said, Yahweh, place this mountain here? Make this mountain that big or this valley that deep? No one. Who have directed the Ruach of Almighty Yahweh or being his counselor have taught him? Do we try to teach Yahweh? Sure we have. Yah says to go this way. And we said, no, we're going to, we think this way is better. We go that way, Israel. Just as a sheep would do. We try to herd sheep to deworm them, to do what's best for them, even to get them in a stall to feed them. And you find them going scattered each and every way, Israel. It said, with whom took he counsel? And who instructed him and taught him the path? Of judgments and taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding. It says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Have not you heard that term? Oh, that's just a drop in the bucket. Insignificant. Doesn't mean anything, doesn't mean much. It said, The nations are as the drop, a drop in a bucket, and are counted as a small dust in the balance. It says, behold, he that take up the aisles or the scales is a very little thing. It's a very little thing, Israel. The nations, the wealth of nations, the world, it doesn't amount to much. It doesn't amount to anything, Israel. It says, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient. For a burnt offering. Lebanon, a place full of riches and wealth and the, the great cedar trees. Even the burning of that is not enough. Or even the beasts, Israel, are not sufficient as a burnt offering. It says in verse 17 that all nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Do you hear that, Israel? Yes. The going, the nations. You look at their net worth. It's not really much, Israel. Yes. But yet they esteem nations that esteem themselves to have great wealth. Yes. Their towers, their mansions, what they call their holy places, their synagogues. All the places they set as a remembrance, Yisrael, historical places, it don't, mean, it don't mean anything to Almighty Yahweh. It's all as vanity. And to whom will you ask is like unto Almighty Yahweh? Who is like unto Yahweh? There is none. Or what likeness will you compare unto him? It said, the workman melted a graven image. And the goldsmith spreads it over with gold and casts it in silver chains. Even in all that, Yisrael, the gold, the silver, the precious, metal, the precious elements and metals, yeah. they mean nothing unto Almighty Yahweh. Yeah, yeah. So what means anything unto him, Yisrael? We mean all unto Almighty Yah. Yeah, Even the wealth of these nations, Yahweh said that he would give nations for us. He will give peoples for us, Yisrael, for our life, that we may be preserved. We are his people, Yisrael. We are his nation. So he is not going to allow the heathen to rule over us, not even the heathen nature of our own mind, Yisrael. He's not going to allow that. But he has preserved unto himself a chosen elect. Hallelujah. It says in verse 20, 
He that is so impoverished that hath not attained chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him and a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have we prepared? We prepared graven images, Israel. They're not anything unto Almighty Yah. They're not worth anything. Not worth one thing. He said, have you not known? Have you not heard? Have it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundation of the old land, from the beginning of all things? When the first word of Almighty Yahweh was even spoken, Yisrael Yah, have we not taken it to heart and taken heed unto it? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the Olam, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the Shemayims as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. This is our Abba, Yisrael This is our Father. This is our creator. Have created all things, Israel. Yeah. Yet amongst all this that is being described unto us that are without wealth, wealth, that carries no weight, yet his people and his nation is worth all unto him. Yeah. That he even given his only son, Yahshua HaMashiach, yeah. that we may be delivered. Yeah. That we may be received unto him, Israel. Yeah. Not by any graven images, not by the wealth of the nations, for they are counted nothing unto Almighty Yahweh. But we are his treasure. We are his wealth, Israel. We are the thing that when he looks upon it, it brings him great pleasure. And it even causes his face to shine, Israel. Hallelujah. And yet he sends the most precious thing he has to offer, the most powerful thing that he has to give, yeah. and that is his word, Yisrael yeah. As we hear so often, even in the old days, that when a man makes a promise, when he makes a statement, he stood upon it, yeah. because his word is his bond. And his promise, he will not break. Even in Tehillim, I believe it's chapter, in, in, uh, chapter 16, that it talks about even a tough man or one that abides yeah. in the bite of Almighty Yahweh. That even when he vow a thing or make a promise, he keeps it even unto his own hurt, Yisrael. Yeah. So Yahweh, he has promised that he shall sustain his house, that he will deliver his people. Then that should settle it in everything, Yisrael. Yeah. We should have no worries. Yeah. We should not allow this life to slow us or the bog us down. Even in our old age, as we grow older, that should not cause us to doubt Almighty Yahweh or find reason to be disgruntled before Almighty Yahweh. Yes, because we are his precious treasure, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It says in verse 23, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. President Obama, the presidents of the world, of the nations, of Africa, China, wherever it may be, Russia, they're nothing unto Almighty Yahweh. Because he elects them, he brings them into power, he puts them in place, Israel. It say, yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, the stocks shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will you liken unto Almighty Yahweh? He said, liken unto me. Or shall be equal, saith our Kodesh one. Yes, yes. Almighty Yahweh. Who shall we equal unto him, Yisrael? Yeah? Yeah. Who shall, who, who even comes up to the dust of his feet or his shoelaces? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It says that the old lamb is his footstool, Yisrael. Yeah. 
It says in verse 25, who shall you liken unto me? Or who shall be equal, says Almighty Yahweh. And he says all this to say this to us, Israel, to lift up your eyes on high. Lift up your eyes, lift up, up your head to the hills from which I help coming. Or to the Shemayim, Yisrael. He said, lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who have created all of these things. It is Almighty Yahweh. That bringeth out the host by number, and calleth them all by their names. But you know the host of the Shemayim, even the stars, Yisrael. What we call planets, the whole host, Yahweh knows them all by their names. He'll name every last one of them. And they're more than billions of stars, numbers that we can't even comprehend, but yet they all have names. And he knows them all, Yisrael. And he also knows us all by name. Hallelujah. He calleth them all by their names, by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power and not one failure. He gives them all their own strength, Israel, but yet not one failure. Even when we see what we call a falling star, Israel, it doesn't fail. It doesn't fail us because Yahweh even knows the end of that thing. Hallelujah. And he says here in verse 27 as I go on. Why saith you, O Yaakov, and speaketh, O Yisrael, my way is hid from Almighty Yahweh? Did I not talk about our ways, Almighty Yisrael? Our ways, they're crooked, they're not straight. But yet we believe, we think that we can hide from Almighty Yahweh, the past that we take, Yisrael. We cannot hide from Almighty Yahweh. Look at everything that has been read, that has been expounded upon tonight. We cannot hide from him, Yisrael. Hallelujah. And so why says you, O Yaakov, and speak of Yisrael, that my way is hid from Almighty Yahweh, and my judgment is passed from over my Abba? Have our judgments passed, Yisrael? Shall we escape the judgment of Almighty Yahweh? For it said in the beginning of this chapter, he had rewarded Yisrael, double for their iniquity. Yet, but even in that was the comforting of Yisrael. Even in that is our comforting, that we cannot escape Yisrael. We try to find our own path, but yet the Torah sets us straight in the straight and narrow path. If we will abide in the Torah and allow Yahshua HaMashiach, as he speaks, if we abide in him, he shall abide in us, Yisrael. We will not find any other way to go. Or to enter into the presence of Almighty Yahweh. Because if we find any other way besides that which he has ascribed unto us, the only way, Yahshua HaMashiach, then we are thieves. We are robbers. We have taken and we have took from Almighty Yahweh. We have trampled the dom, the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach under our feet, Yisrael. He said, have you not known, in verse 28, and have you not heard, That our everlasting Abba, Almighty Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, he faileth not. That is our comfort, Yisrael. That he faileth not. His word doesn't fail us. His word has been established, as it said here, from the beginning. Have we not known it? Have we not taken it to heart, Yisrael? Have we not taken heed? Unto the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. It has made all things. He has created all things. And there will not be anything that is made that that wouldn't be made, Israel, if it wasn't for the word of Almighty Yahweh. It said that his Torah, his word, it it faileth not. Neither is he weary. It said, there is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. Are we not weak, Yisrael? Don't we grow faint even at this journey, this battle, Yisrael? We grow faint. But yet he is our strength, he is our might, Yisrael. It says that even them that have no might, he increases in strength. 
Hallelujah. So even when we have no might, when it seems like we don't have the perseverance just right, y'all, to endure, to continue, yet in the toil of Almighty Yahweh, realizing that we are weak, we are made strong in him, Yisrael, and we're able to continue. It says that we increase in strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, even the strongest of us, the youngest of, youngest of us, Yisrael. We grow weak and we grow weary. And the young man shall utterly fall, but they that wait... Hallelujah. Are we waiting, Israel? Are we patient? Even though we, we, we want Yahweh to somewhat speed things up a little. Hallelujah. Yet in our patience, we possess our nephesh. We possess our souls, Israel. But they that wait upon Yahweh, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yeah. It says that they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and shall not faint, Yisrael. Hallelujah. So let us put our trust in Almighty Yah. You know, the world and the things that we experience as which was expressed in Torah, they're mediocre. They're, they're nothing, Israel, compared to the power of Almighty Yahweh, compared to the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. And because he has spoken, Israel, because he has said it and it is sealed, we have no need to fear. We have no need to fret, Israel. But Yahweh has given us the confidence. He has given us the endurance. He has given us everything that we need in Yahshua HaMashiach. Why do we look any other place? Hallelujah. Our comfort is in him. Our protection is in him. The, the most sophisticated of warfare, weapons of warfare, is not going to save any nation from the wrath of Almighty Yahweh. And the only way we as a people and a nation shall be preserved is as if we are and continue to abide in his arm, Yisrael, as he gathers us to his bosom. That is our comfort. That he draws us unto him. Hallelujah. I don't think we understand that we comprehend that, Yisrael. He has made us. He has made all things. Yet he said, even what we see, it is nothing. It is nothing. But you are everything. We are everything to him, Israel. That's why Yahweh has gone through the lengths that he has gone through to instruct. He has destroyed. He has killed. Don't let no one fool you. Yahweh kills. Why? That he will have his Reward at the end. He will have that which was lost from the Shemayim's Israel. He shall have and will have his people. And we shall stand. And we shall abide. Why? Because he has spoken it. We have overcome all things. We shall endure all things. Why? Because he has spoken it, Israel. Yahshua HaMashiach. The Torah of Almighty Yahweh had endured all things. Mockery, lying, the shame on the stake, stripes upon his back, Yisrael. That was meant for us. Hallelujah. But yet he took that punishment and that pain that we all may be redeemed and saved. Yasha at the end, Yisrael. Why does Yahweh have to go through such, such great measures, Yisrael, that he may show his Ahava for us as a people? That all these things that he has created means nothing. But yet he looks upon us every morning and his face shines upon his people, Yisrael. Let us continue to walk in the Amunah and the, the faith, Yisrael. Let us continue to 
stand upon the precious promises of Almighty Yahweh. When all else fails, when all else crumbles, the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, it never fails. It never crumbles. So let us find our comfort. Let us find reassurance in what he has spoken to Israel. And let us obey everything that he has instructed us to do. It is not hard. It's not hard at all. But we must get rid of the iniquity. We must stop the sinning, Israel. We must stop the rebelling. You know, I think about, think about it this way. A man on the tracks, drunken, a drunkard standing on the tracks, and there's a train coming. Someone sees him. Tries every means to pull them off of those railroad tracks. Why? Because destruction is coming. Yet because he is drunken and he does not hear Yisrael, he fights the very one that is trying to save his life. And the train gets closer and closer. So what does the man do? The only other measure is to push him off the tracks, even endangering his own life. He loses his life to save the one that was drunk in Israel. We have been drunken by sin and by iniquity, Israel. But yet Yahweh has given us salvation, his Yasha and Yahshua HaMashiach. We have no need for spoil. We have no need to be wasted, Israel, because Yahweh has given all. He has given his very best for us, Israel. So let us give our very, very best for him, Yisrael. Yeah. Let every breath, everything that we do, yeah. everything that we say be to his honor to lift up his name, Yisrael. Yeah. Everything. Why? Because our life is in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do pray that this word, this message tonight has been an inspiration to your life. It's been an inspiration to me. Being able to read and to expound from the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Give me strength to face tomorrow, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he gives us that measure every time we wake up out of our beds, Yisrael. Every time. He gives us the strength that is needed to go through the day and even to lay down at night. He says that he gives his beloved. We are his beloved. We are his precious treasure, Yisrael. He gives us tough sleep, Yisrael. So as we lay upon our beds tonight, as we close our eyes, Yisrael, let us be comforted in the reassurance of the word of Almighty Yahweh, that which he has spoken, that he shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Yahweh Barak, you all. Let us continue to strengthen one another to uphold the hands of one another, Yisrael. Yeah. And we see our, our, our hope in a fault or even attempting to do something that is not even of Almighty Yahweh. Let us warn the one. Even though it may not be as it seems, Yisrael. We should watch one another. We should be one another's keepers, Yisrael. That's one thing Cain, he somewhat questioned, he did question Almighty Yahweh. Am I my, am I my ox keeper? Knowing the whole time he had taken his brother's life, Yisrael. We are each other's keeper. So let us continue. Let us stay strong in the Torah. And let's continue to strengthen one another in Yahshua HaMashiach. Let us stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Torah, yeah. Oh, we bless you, Abba. Let us shoot. Let us turn. Almighty Yahweh, we do told you, Abba Yahweh, for another day that you have made. You have waken us up this morning, Abba Yahweh. You have taken us through this day from hurt, from harm, from danger. Your medicam has been a camp round about us, and we just want to give you Tola, Abba Yahweh, for that, Abba Yahweh. That your word encamps around Yisrael, and it is by your keeping power, Yahweh, your word that you have spoken, that we are preserved day by day. So even, Abba Yahweh, as we dismiss, as we greet, Abba Yahweh, and we go to our own places, Abba Yahweh, continue to remind us, Abba Yahweh, that you are in control of all things. And all we have to do is to stand and to abide 
on your Torah and in your Torah, Yahshua HaMashiach. And you will bring us through every trial and every tribulation. And all things we do give you told out in the precious and mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach we do pray. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, Kol Yisrael, Yah Barak. Hallelujah.